this video, we'll talk about the management of POTS. Just as the most important autonomic function test is the... What's the most important autonomic function test? History. The most important treatment of POTS or chronic orthostatic hypotension, or chronic orthostatic intolerance is education. Education. We're going to talk about education. What does that mean, education? And then we'll talk about that. And then, uh, then uh, about non-drug treatments. And way at the bottom here, if we'll get into drug treatment. But that's only uh, a small part of the management of POTS or orthostatic intolerance. Uh, as Socrates is famous for saying, uh, know thyself. Uh, uh, you have to know what the uh, symptoms are that fit with POTS and what symptoms don't. So if a patient with POTS complains of coat hanger phenomenon, let's say, that fits with POTS, as we discussed before. Um, should the person... Uh, have slow upper GI transit, bloating, early satiety, nausea, vomiting, that fits with POTS. You need to know the syndromic nature of the disease, and so does a patient. Uh, does salt help? Uh, I don't know, you gotta pay attention to it. Each person is his or her own self. Uh, and prognosis is important. People don't die of POTS. They die of Parkinson's disease, die of uh, dementia, and so forth. Uh, uh, POTS uh, is a lousy condition, uh, but as far as I know, it doesn't evolve into a neurodegenerative disease. In fact, uh, a substantial minority of patients get better. It takes a long, long time, years. Uh, Maybe they're coping with their condition better. Non-drug treatment. Uh, uh, I would think about anti-gravity muscle training. Um, learning whether drinking water helps. Uh, compression, like uh, Spanx. Uh, to try to maintain the venous return to the heart. Uh, IV saline, very controversial uh, topic. I think there are patients who, who benefit, uh, but there are substantial risks to serolite. It's a, it's a rice syrup-based uh, electrolyte uh, uh, solutions. It's, it's, uh, it was originally used for uh, the diarrhea of uh, cholera. And then it turned out the company was selling a lot of it in America, where there isn't a lot of cholera. And that was because uh, people with POTS were, uh, were buying it up. I don't know if it works, but it might uh, in terms of uh, uh, minimizing uh, water and salt loss. This is what Spanx look like. Cardiac pacemaking for syncope. The, the key is, is hardly ever indicated Drugs, uh, they're all question marks. Uh, these are all research topics and uh, I think beyond the scope of this.